Bandwidth for this podcast is brought to you by CashFly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. Welcome back to MacBreak Studio. We're here again in the beautiful studios in uh, Pixel Core in Petaluma, California. I have with me Mark Spencer, motion guru to the stars, and uh, he's going to walk us through some of the effects features, particularly color grading in Final Cut Pro 10. Yeah. And a roll your own, and, a, and a kind of a roll your own kind of color grading kind of effect, right? Yeah, this, I think this is kind of a fun little thing. And uh, we're working in Final Cut Pro 10, but what we're going to do is because of motion, and I'll show you what I mean. So we'll just dump right in. We, ha we have a little show here. We have a clip. And what I want to do is color correct this clip, okay? Yeah, it looks a little blue and washed a little out. A blue. And uh, maybe you want that, but um, normally in Final Cut 10, you would go to the color board, right? Click the little correction. I'll hit a little arrow here for the correction. Go to the color board. We have color, saturation, and exposure. Mm -hmm. And maybe I'd go to exposure and bring the blacks down a little bit uh, darker, maybe something like that. Maybe I'd boost the overall saturation up a little bit, maybe leave it alone. And then the color, I might take the... Uh, the, the shadows and make them kind of a blue, not too blue, but a little blue because it's, you know, he's sick. He's in the hospital right. and right. kind of cold feeling. But then maybe I take the highlights and maybe warm them up a little bit so I've got a little bit of color in his skin. Right. Okay. So you can do that pretty quickly and it's a very effective way to do color correction to use the color board and using these different uh, widgets here. Little targets. Little targets. Thank you. You'll get me on the terminology yeah, It looks there. like a target. Yeah. So if I, go, if I go back now and turn that correction on and off, you can see, you know, you can very quickly do a uh, a, a quick correction there. Before, after. Yeah, before and after. There we go. I'm going to actually hit the reset here, the little hooked arrow. Yeah. But I want to, I, I discovered something is that you can, thanks to um, uh, a new or rewritten filter in motion and the fact that you can publish these filters to Final Cut, I found a way for uh, you to be able to actually use color wheels in Final Cut Pro 10. You know, people so if, have to have color yeah, wheels. Yeah, you've really got to have that color wheel. There's a way to do that. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to go to the uh, effects browser here and go to custom. Mm -hmm. And we've created a version of this. It's very simple because it's simply publishing an existing filter. Right. And it's one of our, you know, we give away weekly freebies on these things on Ripple Training. Every Monday. Uh, every Monday, yeah, but now we got to keep doing it. Um, so we've got this one called RT Color Balance, and I'm going to drag it onto this clip, and you'll see up here in the video inspector that it has um, three color swatches for shadows, midtones, and highlights, right? Mm -hmm. So I'll start with, with the three shadows. Total ranges. Exactly, so I'll start with the shadows. If I click it, what we get is the OS 10 color picker. I'll make it big. So we've got a color wheel. Sure. Okay. So you can kind of think of this as, as the slider over here is what you might be used to seeing below the color wheel, but I can adjust the um, overall luminance of my shadows right here without affecting the color. Look at that. Maybe bring that down. Uh -huh. And then I can say with well, the color, I want it to be a little, a little bluer over. So I can make the shadows a little darker, a little darker, a little bluer. Then I'll take the highlights here. I'll skip the midtones and I could brighten up the highlights a little bit and maybe make them a little redder by pushing over into the reds. You know, so um, if it's something you're used to, the kind of color wheel idea of doing color correction, you can access... Uh, it's a color picker. Basically, a yeah, kind of like a color corrector three-way. Can you use the crayon picker? Uh, yeah, you could choose colors any way you wanted Whenever to. Whenever I could, do broadcast video, yeah. I always use <laughs> yeah. the crayon picker. <laughs> that's crayon I just picker. That's my uh, choice. <laughs> but but a, a really neat way to control uh, your shadows, midtones, and highlights by separately adjusting the luminance values by a slider on the right, and then hue and saturation. Uh, that would hue, be color, ba color balance, essentially. Yes, exactly. So I'm, I'm adjusting the hue by the angle around this wheel, and then the saturation by how far out, or the radius of the wheel, I can get really saturated. Just like Final Cut Pro 7's three-way color yeah. character wheels, essentially yeah. the same thing. It's doing the same thing you're doing on the color board, just a, another way to do it, another approach, and maybe you can get a little bit of a different look out of it. So no, kind wait. of a fun thing. I, I think you can actually pull up the color board interface in this little plug-in, this little effect of yours if you wanted to, right? Oh, really? Yeah, I think you, can't you do I that? Don't, I don't I, know how you can do I that. Think, I think if you control click on that swatch, don't on, you bring up the color board? Oh, no. no. This, I don't no, know. right up. How about that? There you go. Oh, There's okay. a color board. I thought you meant. I, I thought you meant. <laughs> I, uh, color I was like, look, yeah, it's you a can square. do like a it's quick a square. and dirty. Yeah, it's yeah. a quick and a little hard to control because yes. you don't really see the wheel. But you're right. You're right. Right. Okay. Sorry. I didn't know. I see where you're going with that. For some people who really want to use the color board <laughs> in your interface, they can. <laughs> so a, a fun little way, a quick effect. Um, it's neat because it's an effect, and then you could copy paste effects from one thing to the other. You right. can't save presets. Is the one thing. If you do use the color board, and if I go back to that correction there. You know, there's all these presets under sure. the gear menu 
and you can save your own preset once you get a correction that you like. So Excellent. you can't do that with this RT color balance, but it is a neat way to kind of do a, you know, a color corrector three-way type of approach in Final Cut Pro 10. Excellent. So where do people find these free effects like this RT uh, color balance? You get those uh, Ripple Training if you subscribe to RippleTraining.com. The no, they're just, they're actually just up there. We, let, we, the we announced okay. them through Twitter uh, every okay. week. So if you follow, if you follow, you'll get them, yeah. Exactly, okay. and then we put them up in, this is, this is a good one. Good. And if you want to learn how to publish your own effects from Motion for Final Cut Pro 10, because that's a whole new world now that we have going on. I believe on. you have a tutorial. I do. I have a tutorial on that, rippletraining.com, and, uh, and that's pretty Excellent. much it. Excellent. So, uh, hope you like the new RT color balance effect and some of the things you could do in, uh, very quickly in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, we appreciate you coming out here and uh, showing us this really cool stuff. Uh, thank you for watching another episode of MacBreak Studio.